all right cancer i'm seeing a lot of crying over spilled milk okay there's a huge disappointment around the situation or something just did not turn out exactly what you thought it would so we have the page of wands in the past year okay you could have started something new all right this could be new a new relationship new communication whatever but there was something that you were very very passionate about with the page of wands here okay but i think in the current situation with the empress in reverse here either there's a situation one of you is not feeling the connection enough or one of you is not nurturing the connection enough and that's why there is a lack of growth and expansion within the situation okay could be a very codependent relationship but yeah there is a lack of growth and expansion here it could be something very very new and right now you're very disappointed with the situation definitely to do something you could be having history with this person okay because the five of cups is crying over situation crying over a situation that happened in the past all right so yeah doesn't look very very brand new to me but yeah could be an ex could be someone that you're uh, dealing with and you have history with again like i said what is on this person's mind is the lovers in reverse okay so i feel that this person is not wanting to make a decision okay this person could have oh, i had to uh, make a decision between two people okay or this person is just feeling very very disconnected or i'm getting that there's one person here who's more emotionally involved than the other person okay the the connection is not being felt mutually is what i'm getting right now and that's what's on this person's mind they see you as the knight of wands here okay so they see you as someone you know who's could be player but otherwise it could be someone who they see you as someone who likes to live the moment okay you like to live in the moment you don't like to be tied down they look at you as a player they look at you as someone who just likes to come in get what they want and leave okay because knights are travelers right they could be seeing you as someone who comes in and out of the life okay at their own convenience uh what is going on in this person's emotions is the four of wands in reverse okay so you could be dealing with someone who is not happy uh in a commitment or not or wanting to end a long term relationship or someone who's wanting to end a marriage is what i'm getting and probably it could be that that's why this person is not wanting to feel this connection right now because this person is quote dependent on something or someone you could be dealing with a mother the empress is a motherly with a wife so yeah and this person is probably not making a choice which is again disappointing you okay but this person again this could be someone uh they, they could be seeing you as uh someone who's again you know who just comes in what they want and they leave or they're just going to be with someone who's just very passionate about them okay and on this person's mind is the four of wands in reverse which is they want to shut the door on a long term commitment or they just want to shut the door on a marriage could be involving kids or they just don't see this situation as holding a lot of stability and security okay how this person wants to move forward with you i think this person is holding on to a decision they know they need to make a decision but i think with the two of wands in reverse here this person is either trying to keep safe they're trying to be on a safer corner and trying to make a safer decision or they're just holding on uh, they're just holding off from making a decision what's going on behind the scenes is that either you want a reconciliation or this person wants a reconciliation or this person is trying to get over a lot of heartbreak and emotional trauma this person is trying to heal from uh, some separation or breakup or heartache that they've been going through okay i'm still not getting that this person is into you i'm getting this person is get is already dealing with a situation that has nothing to do with you and this person is already going through a lot of shit right now on your advice is the ten of wands in reverse it's almost like this burden is not for you to carry so you need to release this burden it could be that you are really invested into this person you really want something stable with this person but it's draining you out okay the situation is draining you out a lot and you need to release this burden you don't have to hold on to this if it's weighing you down or if it's overwhelming you is what i'm getting and with the six of wands in reverse here yeah see this is where someone's just not wanting to put in the effort to move things forward okay this is a lack of success something's just not going to be uh a be successful is what i'm getting something's going to fail things are not going to move forward with this person okay let's see why is the five of cups here as the overall energy for cancer you want to rush in and you want this person to make a decision okay or it could be that there was some rash communication someone just latched out with the knight of swords here and with the judgment here there could have been a final decision that was made where is the knight of swords here i 
I'm getting someone could have lashed out, which led to a huge disappointment for you. What is the light of swords here? There could have been some argument between you guys. Start with the knight of swords. You could have found out about a third party situation or you guys are just not on the same page as what I'm getting with the Hierophant in reverse here, okay? This person is probably with the death in reverse and the Hierophant in reverse I'm getting is that this person is trying to resist a change or they're not being able, either they're not being able to end things with a past person is what I'm getting or this person is just not, they're not resisting a change and they're repeating a negative pattern, okay? This could be a negative pattern yeah, um, it's just draining you out, okay? It's something that's keeping this person on hold, but they're not ready to change it because it's pushing them out of their comfort zone, okay? That's what I'm getting. And because this person is not changing yet, that's one of the reasons why this person is not being able to commit to you, or you're just dealing with someone who's commitment phobic, okay? Again, I'm getting because this person could have had a very ba a bad past, okay? They could have had a fallout with someone, okay, which really impacted them big time. And now probably they could have been in communication between you guys where you could have had this conversation, I'm getting, of wanting to move forward. But this person, you it could have led to an argument and because of that with the three of cups in reverse here, I'm getting that you guys are just not on the same page. All right, try for the Empress in reverse. Interesting because yeah. We have the six of swords here with the Empress in reverse. So I'm feeling that you're wanting to move ahead and not wanting to nurture this connection anymore, okay, because you don't see any growth and expansion. And with the Knight of Pentacles here, I think that there's someone here who's wanted to take baby steps, okay, towards this situation, okay? And um someone needs to be very, very decisive. Give me one more card for the Six of Swords. You want progress with this person, okay? But you still don't see that this person is putting the same kind of energy into this relationship or not feeding this connection as much as you are. Give me the Six of Swords. Where is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Okay. So I'm getting that there could be huge communication issues between you guys, okay? But I think you're walking away from this situation, okay? Because there could have been a lot of mind games involved here. Or again, communication could be a big issue between you guys, okay? This is just someone who is just not open to communicate emotions and they're just not wanting to be vulnerable, okay? And with the Seven of Cups here, I think that you see things for what they are. You see things for reality. You have a reality check. And with the Tower here, I think that there could have been something that I've, that's completely exploded between you guys could have been a breakup or this is just the kind of realization that you have uh, you know you're seeing things for what they are you're not watching the situation with rose colored glasses and you're walking away from this situation because you feel that you're wanting progress with the situation but it feels like a forced departure you know you want something to grow with this person okay but with the magician in reverse i think there's a lot of i can't make this happen anymore okay or the situation is not in your control okay you don't know how to make this happen you're doubting yourself there's a lot of self-doubt here in wanting to make things work out why is the lovers in reverse here on this person's mind see i told you there's one person here who's very emotionally involved into the situation and one person is not again the connection is not felt mutually is what I'm getting. You have the King of Cups in reverse here, okay? Someone's being very emotionally unavailable because this person has trust issues. That's why I'm getting this person is probably not even realizing this connection. They don't realize uh, the soulmate connection, this twin flame connection because they're very shut off to this connection. And you on the other hand, you're like, I don't know how to make this happen because this person is just not giving this connection the importance or the attention that is needed to be. You want to move into calmer waters with this person, but you just don't know how to make this happen. Why is the king of cups in reverse? This could be someone who's very cold and detached towards you, okay? <clears throat> Why is the king of cups in reverse? Yeah. This person could be wanting something very, very stable with you, okay? With the ace of pentacles here. But <clears throat> they have huge trust issues. I'm getting that this person was burnt in the past. And now they're trying to run away from this situation, okay? They're trying to escape this situation as much as they can. They're trying to sneak away. 
Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why do they see Cancer as the Knight of Wands? Yeah, they see you as someone slow moving. They, they see you as someone, you know, who lives the moment. You're fun loving, you know. They see you as someone who likes to live life, etc. But again, with the Knight of Pentacles, I think this person sees you as someone who's very, very slow moving when it comes to stability, okay? You're taking baby steps towards this person is what I'm getting. Or it could be this person who sees you as this and that's why they're, that's why they're wanting to take slow steps towards you because they don't trust you again, is what I'm getting. Because the Knight of Wands is someone, again, very unreliable, okay? They come in and out. And of course, this person already has a lot of trust issues, so. Okay, why is the four of wands in reverse on this person's emotions? Yeah, see, this person could have gone through a relationship where there was something that they, someone, they didn't get what they deserve, is what I'm getting. This person could have been in a very committed relationship, okay, for a very long time, but again, someone could have, um, cut through them deep, someone could have cheated, they could have lied, someone could have just gone away and now this person is uh, going through an internal transformation, okay? It's like this person is going through a lot and with the six of pentacles and diversity, I feel that this person is giving you the bare minimum, okay? They don't have more to give and that's what your struggle is because you are very invested into this, you want more but this person is like, this is all I have to give because they are already going through this, okay? Or this person doesn't see that security and stability within the situation, okay? And that's why they're not ready to invest into this right now. Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse thing? Yeah, this person could have been juggling, but now they see things very, very clearly, okay, with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. This person's almost like needing to make a decision. With the Queen of Pentacles here, I feel, and the Ace of Swords, I feel this person has clarity about the situation, but I feel right now, this person is very focused on themselves. They're not focused on this relationship. They're focused on, on their stability, their growth, and they want to be their own stability. They're not dependent on anyone for stability again. I'm feeling this person is someone who is very practical, very grounded. They're not giving the situation a very emotional approach, whereas you, on the other hand, are giving this an emotional approach, okay? Again, dealing with someone who has huge trust issues. They're failing to recognize this connection is what I'm getting because of the past hurt or past issues. How they want to move forward with you is the two of wands in reverse. Okay, so again, they're holding back a decision or they're making a decision about something. Why is the two of wands in reverse? Yeah. So they're making a decision. They're making a very final decision with the judgment here. And what is the judgment? Yeah, they're coming out of their head, okay? They're coming out of their head. This person could have kept things stuck and stagnant for a very long time, okay? But with the judgment here, this person is making, either wanting a reconciliation or this person is just wanting to uh, make a decision. And whatever decision they're making, right, they're thinking, it's almost like they're coming back to their senses. They're not living in, uh, stuck in their head anymore. What is the of thoughts in reverse? Yeah. This person is going to probably even communicate with you. Very candid communication, very honest communication, okay? And with the Four of Pentacles in reverse, this person is going to release anything and everything that they are holding back from. Why is the Three of Swords in reverse going on behind the scenes? That's a lot of healing. Why is the Three of Swords in reverse? See? What did I see? This person's healing from a backstabbing or a betrayal, okay? They're, they're healing from a situation where they felt very backstabbed and betrayed, where it was like an overkill, okay? This person could have gone through hell and they're trying to get out of that. They're trying to heal themselves from the situation. They're no longer wanting to invest or think about a situation that keeps them emotionally stuck, tied and bound, okay? Or anything that's draining them out emotionally, they're trying to get over it. Your advice is the Ten of Wands in reverse. Why is the Ten of Wands in reverse? Why is the advice the Ten of Wands in reverse? Because there's too much drama between you guys and there's a lot of unknown energy between you guys. Okay, with the moon here, it's almost like there's a lot of fear of the unknown, okay? It's almost like you still don't know where this is leading to. So don't take so much stress about the situation that you still don't know where it's heading to, okay? Because the person you're dealing with could be a Pisces, but this could be someone who's very mysterious, okay? You just don't know a lot about them. 
you don't know what they're going through okay and you're taking the entire responsibility of the situation and you're wanting you probably even feel that everything's happening because of you but actually it has nothing to do with you is what i'm getting but the five of wands here you're very conflicted in your head okay it's like you're just constantly getting you're constantly clashing with this person or you're just constantly clashing in your head okay because one side is saying for you to fight for this you know and the other side is like give it up you know but you should you should give up okay why is the five of wands here I think you should take a break from this person with a hermit here. Okay, you need uh, you need to do a lot of contemplation and you need to think about where this situation is going. Okay, with the three of pentacles here as advice, I feel that you need to focus on yourself and you need to work on yourself. Build on yourself. Maybe you are someone who's again. The Empress in Reverse could also be you, someone who's very, very codependent. Okay, someone who's being very clingy and needy is what I'm getting. Okay, and um, so you need to work on yourself as what I'm getting. Work on your building your foundation. Work on building your own stability and security and growth, like this person is doing. And don't let this overpower you. Don't let this overwhelm you because I think this entire situation situation has nothing to do with you. Nothing. You need to do a lot of soul searching. You need to think a lot about the situation. Like maybe take a break and think about where this is heading. Because I feel the situation is stressing you out a lot more than it is to them. Because they're doing their own part of healing, okay, which has nothing to do with you. Why is the six of wands in reverse as a likely outcome? Again, I feel that there is going to be a break between you guys. Okay, there is going to be a point of no communication between you guys. But with the six of wands in reverse, the high priestess in reverse, and the nine of pentacles in reverse, I feel things are not going to move forward because you are finding it very hard to trust your intuition. Okay, you are trusting your logic over your intuition, and with the nine of pentacles in reverse, here, I feel you are being very, very clingy and needy. You don't realize your self worth and value, which is again. One of the reasons why you're doubting the skills of making this relationship work out. Again, I'm getting a lot of self-doubt from you. Okay, so Cancer, this is you or Cross Watcher. I'm going to look at this as Cancer. You are very codependent on this relationship. You don't trust yourself. You don't have enough faith that you can make things happen. Or it's just that you are being very codependent on this person. I've said this word a hundred times, but that's what I'm getting everywhere. Okay, and that's why you're wanting. Something from this person, okay? It could be a solid commitment, could be a stable relationship, okay? But this person has their own shit that they're going through, okay? And right now they're just not ready, is what I'm getting. Even if they are with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel this person is making very slow steps, or they're just not even moving towards you. And probably that's what's getting you into that anxiety mode, and you're already so invested into this person, and this person has trust issues, all right? So you need to hold back. You need to trust yourself, and you need to take things slower, okay? You're probably rushing in things too quick, okay? Trust your intuition and stop being so clingy and needy, okay? Just don't be so codependent. Realize your self worth. Realize your value. Realize that you're okay on your own, and you don't need anyone to fulfill you, okay? You're whole. You're independent on your own, and yeah, that's what I have for you. Take a break, contemplate on what you're doing, and think about it. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.